checking out another clip on the web show. A lot of fun catching up with Toddy Goldsmith, who's had a great career in the Australian entertainment biz, and here's a small example of that. She's graced our TV sets for years, with appearances on Prisoner, Stingers, and host of Channel 10's Sex Life, to becoming part of the popular 80s band, The Shantuzies. She's Toddy Goldsmith. So there's a small example there of some of the things that Toddy's been up to and you can check it out online on YouTube actually a great clip there as well as her website toddygoldsmith.com.au Plenty of stuff to read about there she's been through some tough times that she shared uh, with her story it's uh, very inspiring to check it all out and it was fun to catch up with her on the streets of Melbourne very randomly with the video camera for the web show and to film this randomly on the street with uh, the lovely Toddy Goldsmith how are you I'm good <laughs> can you hear me it's gonna be well there's no trams no. on this road which is a very good thing it is so Melbourne we're on the street next to buses going by and everything I've been trying to get you for a chat on the show for a long time so thank you for uh, meeting me it's all right the Talk show I do is all about dreams and stuff so were you always a big dream chaser growing up I mean you've had a pretty extraordinary career so far you know, it's always changed. My, you know, my, my goals do change, and the older you get, I think we change and we grow and evolve as people. So my, my dreams, I haven't had one particular one. Like I wasn't a nurse and then went, I want to be a nurse all my life or a doctor or an athlete. Yeah. But I've always been um, drawn to the performing arts, and I wanted to be a dancer when I was a kid, and I ruined my hips doing jumping splits, and so then I shifted into um, acting, and then the singing thing happened with, the, you know, the chanteuses. And so it's just sort of been a mulch of of everything but it gives me joy and yeah. I never feel that I'm working so I'm doing the right thing. With the Shantuzi stuff that you guys did, look at that, that's uh, yes, that's very Melbourne right there, people going by. With the Shantuzis, what was like the best moment for you with the stuff like that you created? Do you have like a top moment that you often look back on and brings joy? Oh gosh, I don't, no there wasn't one top moment because it was, um, it was a sort of, just a series of events. We were on the road for years and we went from just pulling a band together, my brother and I, and to having fun playing at his club to being signed by a record label. They came to see us and suddenly we were making film clips and we were on the road and before we knew it we were just getting hammered every night and going out on stage. <laughs> it was the 80s, you yeah. know. It was insane kind yeah. of time and yeah. it, it got bigger than Ben-Hur and um, it, it just sort of took off, but I've done so many different jobs. I've done musical theatre and television and film and hosted shows and d hosted radio, and it's all just part of who I am yeah. and just what I love doing. Well, what was your favourite thing then doing out of all those multi-skilled things that you can do? What, what's your, what's your favourite, you think? Do you have one? I don't, because I still sing. I've got a band called The Toosies with right. Eve from The Shan because right. there's two of us, yeah. and I get up on stage and I feel better than I did in my 20s and I'm in my late 40s now. Yeah. I feel um, I, I'm physically fit, I'm more confident because it's not uh, so important the outcome anymore. It's not the pressure of a record company. You lose your ego the older you get. You're not yeah. caught up in all the crap and it's, um, it's more about the joy of it. So we're still doing gigs, a lot of corporate stuff and I just have an absolute ball. Um, having said that, I just did an audition for a radio show so fingers crossed right. because I, I did radio many years ago and I hadn't really considered doing that again and I got asked to come in an audition for something and suddenly I'm going, oh my God, that was so much fun. So yeah. we'll see, but you know, jobs, you know, they come and they go and part of what we do is deal with the rejection and deal with suddenly doing nothing to doing everything and, you know, but I keep myself very busy. I've got a company um, that I'm the face of and, and on the board of called Unbooked, which is an online company where people, we're building it at the moment where um, people will facilitate anything for home health and beauty where they'll, you know, from booking waxes to dog shampoos to wow. 
personal training to massages and it's all an online company so we're building that at the moment and you should go and look at unbook.com.au yeah. yeah. I'm doing that and I work with a couple of charities muscular dystrophy and the living in John Cancer Wellness Centre I've um, and I do a lot of things for um, 16th Street acting studio and I'm I'm flat out busy even in between jobs yeah, so yeah, yeah. You know. it certainly sounds like it then if you had advice for someone out there that's seeing this and thinks they're a young girl they want to grow up and do similar things they want to sing and act and everything what would you say to young young people out there about chasing dreams I would say get technique it's really really important to get technique go and study do your dancing do your singing do your acting go and do courses it's it's really tough in Gen Y where everything appears to be so immediate it's not so immediate you've got to go and do the work and really I'm still studying. I still go to 16th Street and do courses and master classes and the more I do, the hungrier I get and the more excited I get and it's um, the universe rewards action. So if you just keep going and, and doing things that inspire you, something will grab. But don't sit back. I do not believe in sitting back and waiting for things to come to you. I believe in just keep moving, just every, every little step, even when you're stuck and you don't know what you want and you're confused, just keep taking one step at a time and something will grab. Great to meet you for a random chat in Melbourne and thank you for that and uh, all the best with everything. Thank you.